Hi everyone, my name is Kathy Six here with Antra Solutions talking about the next Tech Tip Tuesday tip, with it, which is adding a OneNote tab into Teams, what we need to be careful of uh, in terms of permissions. So I'm going to share my screen here and go through a little example. So adding a OneNote into Teams is pretty easy, but the downside is that permissions notifications don't happen the same way as they do with other Office files. So if I'm sharing a file with someone who doesn't have access to it, Office 365 will tell me that, uh, it, but we don't see that same notification with one with OneNote. So in my channel, I'm going to add a tab and select OneNote. Now I can select the default team notebook and every team has a OneNote notebook that's created with it. And the permissions from this OneNote are managed at the team level. So team owners and members all have access to this OneNote. If a new team member is added, they'll also have access to it. I can create a new notebook if I don't want to use the team default notebook. This new notebook is also created at the team level and permissions are also managed uh, by the team permissions. So again, team owners and members will all have access to that OneNote. However, if I wanted to add in a OneNote that I already have access to that maybe I want to share a couple of sections with someone in my team, I need to be careful because those permissions are not going to be managed at the team level in that case. This OneNote notebook was created in my OneDrive. If I add this in by selecting it and then clicking save, I can add this as a tab to my OneNote and it looks like all permissions are fine. I have access to it. Everything's working great. But the other team members, because this is uh, in my OneDrive and I'm the only one who has access to it, my team members see this error. This is, uh, you don't have access to this notebook, you need to ask for permission. So I can do that by going into my own OneNote as the owner, clicking file, share, and share with people, or get a sharing link and adding people in individually, which we don't really wanna do when we are you know, continuously adding new team members. So using the default team notebook in this case is definitely the recommended way to go, or creating a new notebook so that uh, the membership is added at the team level instead of you having to manage it yourself. Thanks very much for watching today. Looking forward to next week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Have a great one.